हेलो माय डियर स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम अगेन फॉर द ऑनलाइन क्लासेस टुडे वी विल स्टार्ट विद द सेम लेसन ऑफ सिविक्स दैट इज लेसन नंबर टू रोल ऑफ गवर्नमेंट इन हेल्थ इन द लास्ट लेक्चर वी हैव स्टडीड अबाउट द हेल्थ केयर फैसिलिटी इन इंडिया नाउ इन दैट पॉइंट वी सॉ दैट अवर कंट्री इज रिच इन द हेल्थ केयर फैसिलिटीज बट इवन दो द adequate healthcare care facilities are available in India but some section of the society are unable to get the healthcare care facilities we means the government is unable to provide the healthcare care facilities reasons also I explain you in that lecture that what are the reasons that why the government is not able to provide the healthcare care facilities now the today we are going to study about the story of Hakim Sheikh through this story we will come to know that why the healthcare facilities are not available to us and how how the people are facing the problems of the inadequate healthcare facilities so today let, let us start with the point that is the story of Hakim Sheikh now who was Hakim Sheikh Hakim Sheikh was the member of Pashim Banga Khet Mazdur Samiti that is PBKMS he was the member of this committee and this organization what is PBKMS it is an organization of the agricultural laborer and he was one of the member of this organization one day in 1992 <clears throat> one evening suddenly he met with an accident he fell down from the running train and he was severely injured he was taken to the government hospital but he was not admitted by the hospital the what was the reason the reason was that there was not a spare bed for him so he was taken to the another hospital there also he was not admitted the doctors are the reason given was the doctors are not available again he was taken to the another government hospital there also some reason was given that the medical facilities are not available so totally he was taken to the eight government hospitals but none of the government hospital admitted him they refused to admit him by giving some or the other reason finally he was admitted to the private hospital but in between of these 14 hours was passed and in 14 hours he has to suffer a lot thanks to the god that at least he survived because after such a severe injury also 14 hours he was struggling for getting the treatment and from the eight government hospitals he was refused to admit when finally he was admitted to the private hospital the treatment was given to him but he has to spend lot of money for his treatment because the severity because the injury was very serious angry and the upset uh, over the indifference attitude of the hospitals that refused him to admit Hakim Sheikh and PBKMS this organization filed the case in a court now obviously when a person when he is severely injured and if he is not getting treatment in the hospital when he got cured they were it is obvious that they will get the angry on these institutes so they filed the case in the hospital now why they filed the case in the court now why these why they file why they file the case in the court on what basis means we say that govern it is the duty of the government to work for the welfare of the people when we say this statement means we are we are doing something for the government so what we are doing we are paying taxes to the government we when we pay tax to the government when these government hospitals when they are working for the people means they are not spending the money from their pocket the doctors are not spending the money from their pockets the government hospitals use the money which we pay them in the form of the tax and the tax which is paid to the government that money is used for the public services 
so hospital is among the public service and it is the duty of the government to give the proper service to the people hakim sheik didn't get the proper facility or the service from the government hospital and he has to suffer a lot and so when the this case was filed in the court and court gave the after some days court gave the order that the government has to pay to the hakim sheikh whatever money he has spent on his treatment because it was his uh due it because it was his right to get the service from the government but government refused by giving some or the other reasons and so government gave the justice from his side and he got the refund of from the government whatever he spent for his treatment now so children this is about the story of hakim sheikh and why we pay taxes to the government i hope you have understood through this story that how the healthcare facilities even though we have the adequate healthcare facilities but people have to face the problems in getting the proper healthcare facilities so for today i will stop here in the next topic in the next lecture we will continue with the public and the private healthcare facilities what are public health public healthcare services and what are private healthcare services thank you